Hi, and welcome to another edition of Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business Coach, James Short here, aka Shorty, and welcome to another episode. I'm excited because we've hit the new year, 2024. Can you believe it? Wow. If you haven't subscribed or followed the episodes, please do so now so you get the latest into your inbox, into your notifications. So just press the subscribe or follow button and look forward to uh, chatting to you shortly. So who do we have today? We're very, very honored and privileged to have Chris Sikluna from Move Me In. So he's a national business development manager and he's been in the real estate industry for 20 years starting in property management before transitioning to the other side of real estate, where he's now been looking after other agencies for the past 13 years. Now, Move Me In has the ability to offer listeners the opportunity to use their technology to do a health check on their electricity and gas bills and see if they can save money on what they're currently paying. So go and check it out. It's app.moveme.in.com.au. So super excited to have Chris with us today, mate. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Uh, excited, actually. It's going to be fun. Mate, 20 years ago, what did you think about getting into the real estate industry? So, like, that's a little while ago. How did that yeah. work out? It's different times. Um, I kind of fell into real estate. I think a lot of people do. Um, so, after high school, I packed up. I was living on the, the Gold Coast, um, well, Tweed Heads, and I packed up the Tirana drove down to Sydney to get a start in life. Um, and, you know, I was working in uh, a corporate environment. I was working at NRMA head office, uh, worked my way up through the ranks. And um, I ended up being in a job where most people in human resources have a degree. Uh, so when I moved back to Queensland uh, and wanted to get or stay within in that sort of role, most people had a degree. So I came up against that challenge. Um, and then I thought, well, where can I transition my skills um, and, and use the same sort of um, things that I develop over the last few years? And, uh, you know, a lot of people do. Oh, I wouldn't mind driving a BMW. <laughs> Let's get into real estate. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, the the sales side at that time was uh, commission only. So I thought I'd, you know, drip feed myself into starting property management um, and, you know, slowly transition over into sales. Um, that never happened. I stayed in property management um, pretty much that whole whole time. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, and here I am, yeah, sort of 20 years later. Um, still in the industry, obviously on the peripherals now, looking after agents, which I absolutely love doing. Um, but, you know, having been on the tools for a long period of time, you know, helps me, helps me uh, on the day-to-day, -day, understand what the client goes through. So I love that. You know, going from the Tirana to the BMW and, you know, in the <laughs> early days. You haven't got the BMW, so mate. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. And, and I think like that, that experience is so paramount in yeah. the, the PM world, particularly in, you know, in, in the platform Move Me In because yeah. it, it's a, having the understanding what are those frustrations that agents and the clients go through where you can be that problem solver and go, hey, yeah. here's a solution, here's a, here's a concept, check it out let's 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 have a win win for for everyone here so why so so moving into to move me in what yeah. wh why why that platform what what intrigued you about when you when you joined the, the team there mm -hmm. what intrigued you about uh the platform and, and the program that you guys offer I guess it goes back a little bit further where, you know, when I was in property management, I actually got asked by another company to, to come and join them. Uh, and that's what led to the transition uh, outside of, you know, being on the tools and, and looking after agents. And, and that was in a similar industry of, you know, the utility connection services. Um, and, you know, as many things do, you know, that I uh, really loved my time in that company, had a great experience, but it, it ran its course. Um, and we, I got talking to Andrew Reese, who owns um, or owned Inspect Real Estate at the time. Um, and I actually worked for, for Inspect Real Estate for a couple of years. And um, uh, one of my best mates and a, a former colleague, he actually started up the, the Move Me In service with Inspect Real Estate. And, um, you know, it, it got off the ground, got up and running. And then, um, Sean Mahoney, who is, uh, you know, the person that established Move Me In with Andrew, uh, he asked me to transition across because I'd had that previous experience and um, it's nothing better than working with your best mates, is it? It's, it, it you know, it makes going to work okay. absolute pleasure. You love going. It's hardly work sometimes. So 
um, it, it was just a natural transition of crossover. But, um, you know, it, it was it was great. Just I think having multiple different lives within the real estate industry has is, is been, um, it's been joyous, you know, property management. I did a few sales here and there going into connection services, working on the IT side, and then, you know, combining both the connection services and, and IT with um, the Move Me In product. It's, uh, it's been, yeah, it's been an interesting journey so far. I love it. I love it. So, so let's talk about Move Me In. <clears throat> let's talk about the service. Let's talk about what the benefits and and why was it established? Obviously, there's a there's a great need to it in the market. Yeah. <laughs> and as I said before about overcoming those, those frustrations that so many people have around it, yeah. Um, what and and even better now working with your mates. But yeah. like, if you look at for for those listeners out here, what's yeah. the impact that Move Me In is having at the moment? Well, we're one of the first of our kind. So most people within this space are call center based services that are owned by an electricity company. So you know Andrew and Sean saw a real gap in the market where. One, we wanted to be an independent company where we're not sort of pushing people towards a certain supplier, but also we're a tech company. So, you know, if you ask the average punter, you know, do you want to be on the phone with a call center for half an hour or do you want to get this done in two minutes on your phone or on your computer and then get on with life? And, and so that's where there was that real gap established and, and we we're able to fill it. Um, and through the technology that Inspector Real Estate has, and, and they've got such a, a large reach and more now with the Repit company. So Inspect Real Estate is now part of Repit where, you know, um, we're the same family that has Agent Box, um, Console, and now Inspect Real Estate. You know, we're able to integrate through those systems where we can, you know, give easy touch points for the client. They get introduced to the Move Me In service and then they can, you know, go through that process and it literally takes two minutes for someone to organize their electricity, their gas, their internet, um, you know, get quotes for removalists, those kind of things. I mean, moving is a very stressful time. I think what was it? Death taxes and moving or buying and selling. Moving. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's, it's not a fun time. It can be very, very challenging. And if we can take some of that stress out, um, you know, through a really easy way of, of uh, arranging those things, that's obviously the goal. Um, and when we really, we have done that. So, you know, why we were established in 2017, we really didn't kick off to 2018. And um, since then, you know, we've got, um, you know, near on oh, 2,300 clients utilizing the service, um, you know, through, through the whole country, which is, it shows the impact that we've had in such a short period of time. Love it. That's so true. Like, that's, that's a huge impact in such a short period of time. Where do you see it going? Like what's that? what's that next one, two, three year vision? Because now you've got like a whole family of, of yeah. other support businesses and services that you're sort of, I would imagine bouncing off one another Absolutely. and sort of collaborating. And where do you see the vision? Where do you, what's, what's the focus for you guys moving forward? Well, that, that's been really exciting joining Repit. Um, you know, it's opened up other avenues and other touch points outside of Inspect Real Estate to see, well, you know, where where can we have a greater impact? Um, you know, one of the biggest things that we're focusing on moving into 2024 is um, the buyer market. It, it's been a space where it hasn't been able to be touched before. And the biggest impediment with a service like ours is consent. So consent to market to a particular person. Um, now, when it comes to the buyer market, you know, where do you collect that consent? Now, that, that's a real challenge. Um, but through the tech that we have, we, we've tackled um, the consent issue. So um, we're really going to go hard at the uh, the buyer market this year and, and provide a, a really much needed concierge style service um, in that space. And that, that would start right at the time someone con um, signs a contract that, you know, they need that insurance, um, you know, to cover themselves through that period, or even if it's just get a certificate of currency to provide to their finance company, um, you know, we, we can have an impact from the very, very outset. Um, and, you know, what we really want to do is we want to make sure that we're, we're giving a positive reflection on that agency. I think that, you know, if we can take away, the thought pattern when a buyer is going through the buying process that, oh, this, you know, agent's just trying to sell me something rather than moving that more towards this person's providing me with a service now. 
Um, you know, and that, that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we're having a positive impact, um, you know, for the agency and then also for the sales agent with their clients. That's a massive added value piece right there because you, I think you hit the nail on the head in relations to it's a fine, well, it's not a fine line if, it, if it's worded correctly compared mm. to just trying to sell me something or providing massive value and yeah. and service. Like you get that piece right for the agent or if the, when the agent gets that piece right, because you guys know what you're doing, that you do provide massive uh, value and, and service. But when the agent gets that right and communicates that effectively, that just puts the agent really on a on a pedestal. It's like, listen, yeah. like love your business, but at the same time, hey, here's here's some some additional service that you can go for it because because of who I am. I think that's you know looking at that part is is a huge way forward for you guys. That's super yeah. exciting. Yeah, and it, it goes away from I'm going to sell you this house to I want to help you through this process. Um, you know, and I think that massive we can, difference, isn't it? Oh, it massive has, difference. Absolutely, and I think you know, and, and I've just gone through the the buying process um, with my partner as well. Um, and I've always had the thought pattern that you can't sell me a property, but you can give me a good experience. You can turn me off buying something. I can go through a property and I can have a negative experience and go, oh, this this property doesn't have a good feel but then you can give me a great experience and I can come through and that can change my mindset of, well, what is the feeling of that property? And I do want to, do I want to progress forward with something? And, you know, maybe that's um, part of the impact that we can have. Yeah. And I think having the agent in there as a, almost as a conduit from these, you know, from the service that you provide and, and other services where it's not just here, I'm here to, as you said, here to sell, but yeah. at the same time here, I'm also here are a list of other services and benefits, you know, by just by dealing with me, by having a conversation that we can also help you with as well. That's amazing. What yeah. are you noticing? What are you noticing out there is some of the, I guess, the frustrations uh, within the industry that we've seen over the last couple of years, a huge uh, tech boom in yeah. the industry. And, and I think agents, particularly the more mature agents trying to get a hold of all these, these awesome tech tech companies merging into the industry. Yeah. Where, where do you see some of the frustrations and fears out there at the moment within the industry around it all? It's just knowing what to use and that the, you're right. There is so much out there. I think it can be overwhelming um, for, especially a lot of principals that may not be overly tech savvy. They may have been in the industry for a long period of time. And then we've gone from 10 years ago, no tech to all of a sudden, overwhelmed with technology and i think that it's just trying to make it easy to identify well where are the the tech that adds value rather than oh i need everything and i you know from a repeat perspective um and again this is a 2024 goal for us is we want to minimize the amount of different tech that you're using and consolidating it into one. So as I mentioned before, you know, Reapit has agent box, console, inspector real estate, move me in, agent point, and that we've got a, a number of other things that we're working on in the background. But the idea is that we want to create a single environment for an agency that can run your whole business rather than you have, because I mean, one of the, the things I hear about is, oh, we've got so many subscriptions coming out of our ears. Well, the idea is we want to minimize that for you. Here's a tech package for you. Here's a subscription cost. You're in one environment and it really simplifies it. It still adds the power and the, you know, the diversity that tech can give you, but it's condensing it into sort of one environment, making it easy, especially for less tech savvy people. So true. Because I mean, that's, that's the challenge that I see and I hear all the time. So I've got this and I've got that. Yeah. And that's why Ripit is so good because it's like, okay, let's look at all the touch points. Let's look at the whole journey of, yeah. of a buying cycle or of a selling cycle. And 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 then what what can we add value to the agent and also the end user? So it makes everyone's life a lot easier. And that's why I love looking at all those different different brands underneath the, the Reaper model is, is amazing. Yeah. So one of the things that we've got on our show is wanting to find out a little bit more about our guests. Uh, yeah. So we have a, a, a 60, 60 second quiz to find out who's who. Um, yep. Are you willing to play? Oh, let's go. I got it. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's rip in. Let's rip in. All right, cool. Uh, favorite movie? 300. Ooh, I just I just thought when it, when it came out, it was just really different. Really, yeah, it was just something I hadn't seen before and really loved it. 
So good. Favorite food? Mexican. Love hot food. Mexican. Love hot food. Love it. Favorite holiday destination? Uh, Malta. Um, that was where my dad was born. Uh, and I was lucky enough to go for the first time at the end of last year. Um, and it is stunning. And take, take away my, my personal attachment to it. It is an absolute beautiful place. So good. So good. What's your, do you have a morning routine? What's your morning routine? Yeah. Training. Um, I love to start in the morning with a, a nice hard training session. Um, gets the endorphins going. It's getting me excited for the day. So good. What about, do you have an evening routine? Yeah. Um, I've actually, I got myself a sauna recently. Um, so I love having a sauna just before bed. Yeah. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's, uh, yeah, that, that's my routine sauna, cold shower bed. So good. It is the best life oh, side. Night. I've got that the same and it's just nice to yeah. have that just decompression of the day, a bit of sweat, let it all out. Love it. So good. All right. Do you have the most embarrassing moment? <laughs> yeah. Uh, most embarrassing moment. Um, uh, I, can't, I was in primary school, um, swimming carnival, jumped in, togs came off. <laughs> so that's why you'll never catch me in speedos um, to the day I die. It's just never going to happen. <laughs> no budgie smugglers for you for Chrissy. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Love it. If you could choose five inspirational people to have dinner with, they could be dead or alive. Who would that be? Um, Dead or alive. Okay. So uh, LeBron James. Um, I just think I love sport. I'm a massive sports buff and I think he's an absolutely incredible human being of what he's achieved and the pressure that he's achieved it on. Um, Elon Musk. Um, I just think he's a really interesting person, very diverse with where he, you know, puts his eggs in different business. It's just ridiculous. Um, Joe Rogan, again, very similar to Elon Musk in a very diverse character, um, I'm a massive podcast fan. Um, I've been listening to his podcast since 2011. So I'm not, I haven't just jumped on the bandwagon. I've been since the early days, um, but also the guests that he has on there. I just think he's a really interesting human being. Um, Deb, he, here's something interesting. I, I, I would love to meet the Pharaoh that was alive when the pyramids were created. Ooh. How did you do that? That's <laughs> original. Yeah, can't do it That's now. original. I, so yeah, it'd be interesting. Totally. Um, and you've got to have someone funny. Um, so um Ricky Gervais, I, I he's he's hilarious. Um and very not PC. So uh either that or if um he's not available, my partner D, she's uh probably the second funniest person I know. So so good, so good. Um, do you have a biggest regret? Um, not traveling more when I was younger. Um, that's probably the one thing I'll look back that I wish I had done. I had the opportunity and I didn't take it and I, I wish I had it, but I'm making up for it now. That's for sure. So good. So good. And, uh, if you were prime minister for the day, what's one thing that you would change? I'd help the building industry. Um, all, all the talk about housing affordability and, you know, whether it be on the rental side or whether it be on the purchasing side, I think that is an, a cause of lack of construction uh, and nothing else. I mean, we see the real estate industry getting blamed for, you know, the cost of rent and that, but that's a supply and demand issue. I think if there was more supply, um, then I think both the rental and also sales industry would be in a much healthier place. So whether that's cutting red tape, just, you know, helping with um, supply, because I know there's been an issue with supply of materials, whatever it would be, I'd help the building industry. Yeah, love it, love it. I want to re come back to that in a minute. And best yep. piece of advice? Ask questions. So be curious, ask a lot of questions. And also, what's the worst, as far as asking for something as well, um, what's the worst someone can say? No? Well, so be it. Mm. Ask questions. Yeah, love it. Love it. And, and that's the thing, right? the, the whole being curious and looping back into to the whole Joe Rogan. That's why he's so good at what he does, yeah. right? On his podcast, he just, just asks a bunch of questions and where he he's very knowledgeable himself, but yeah. he takes the viewpoint of like, hey, I'm just here to learn, you know, and, and to, to, to ask questions in order for my guests to learn as well. Where, where uh, I, I don't know if you listen to the one where he's uh, had recently uh, Elon Musk on it yeah. where they go and, yeah. they go and, and 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 shoot 
uh, bow and arrows. And yeah, you, right, yeah. You, you can't. <laughs> that was interesting, wasn't <laughs> it? Do you want to do it now? Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's order a pizza. That's great. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I was actually, uh, it's, it's an interesting question you just asked, because that, that is the one that has had the biggest impact on me, ask questions. But one that I actually had that, uh, I was listening to a podcast the other day, and that question was asked to somebody else. The response I, they had, I thought was really interesting, got me thinking, it was, you know, what what is the best advice? And the best advice was um, change. So just a lot of people, like in the past, I've heard people say, oh, don't change. But I think changing is really good. And I thought that was a really interesting point that we should always be changing and trying to better ourselves. And, you know, uh, I thought that was an interesting one as well in the the opposite, you know. The yeah, best totally. Because it is, it is true. Like we are constantly changing. And then when people fear that change, they don't embrace yeah. the change and they don't grow. Yeah. And so, but when we can be open to change, then it's like, yeah, cool. Let's, what else can we explore? What else can we, you know, yeah. become or do or, or, or act upon? So that's a great piece of advice too. Change. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. Love it. Love it. So how can, how can the guests, how can the listeners uh, find out a little bit more about yourself and about uh, the service Move Me In? Where can they go? How can they get in contact? So if you're in the industry, um, you'll find our product page on inspectrealestate.com.au. So if you're in the industry and you want to know more about how our service can help your business, um, you know, please reach out. We'd love to get in touch. Um, if you want to reach out to me directly, it's chris at inspectre.com.au. Um, I'd love to have a conversation. Love it. Chris from Move Me In, really appreciate your time, energy, and your expertise today. Mate, thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. It was great. Good fun.